Select the best set of reaction conditions to accomplish the following transformation. So looking at this problem, we are given a starting material, which is a dial, and a product, um, which appears to have been oxidized. So we are starting with a molecule that has two alcohols. We want to identify what the substitution of these alcohols are. So the first one is a secondary alcohol because that carbon atom has bonds to one, two carbons. Um, and the other alcohol has bonds to only one other carbon atom. So that is a primary alcohol. And then we want to pay attention to what we are oxidizing these to. So secondary alcohols can only be oxidized to ketones. Uh, and, and that's what we see happening here. That secondary alcohol has become a ketone. Primary alcohols are what we really need to pay attention to in terms of selecting the oxidizing agent that we want to use. Primary alcohols, so a primary alcohol can be oxidized essentially up kind of one level to give you an aldehyde. And it could be oxidized even further to give you a carboxylic acid. And so we want to see what's happening here. And so our primary alcohol is here at the end, and we can see that that's been oxidized to a carboxylic acid. And so out of the reaction conditions that you have been introduced to so far, the only one that we saw that will take a primary alcohol and oxidize it all the way to a carboxylic acid are conditions that form chromic acid. And so option B here, this chromium, um, trioxide and aqueous acid and acetone that will combine to give you chromic acid. So this, this is the option that we're looking at. Um, A and C are also oxidizing conditions, but what they would do, both of these conditions would take the primary alcohol and oxidize it only to the aldehyde. So you just have a hydrogen here, um, instead of the carboxylic acid that we currently have. So we need to use option B.